51 years ago today, NASA's Eagle Lunar Lander touched down on the surface of the moon, and Neil Armstrong became the first human to step on the moon. Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin walked on the moon for two and a half hours and collected nearly 50 pounds of moon rocks and soil for scientists back here on Earth to study. Ten more American astronauts would follow in their footsteps over the next three and a half years. Before they ever stepped foot on the moon, a few of those astronauts came here to Idaho to Craters of the Moon, aptly named, for training. Kim Fields has a look back in this edition of Get to Know Idaho. It was August 22nd, 1969. Apollo 14 astronauts visit Craters of the Moon in Idaho, posing for a celebrity-like picture. They were huge celebrities because we had just landed on the moon and, and people were pretty excited about it. There was a lot of media out here that day. Um, you know, it was a very exciting time for Idaho. Uh, people came from all over to see the astronauts. We had Alan Shepard. He was the first American in space. Edgar Mitchell, he's one of 12 men who walked on the lunar surface. Joe Engel, who was a space shuttle pioneer. Eugene Cernan, who tur turned out to be the last man on the moon uh, during the last. Mission. We, we really did have an all-star cast of astronauts out here. With one moon mission already under its belt, NASA felt these men might someday be walking on the moon too and have the rare opportunity to collect samples of different rocks. So they sent them to Craters of the Moon to learn more. And they came here specifically to learn more about volcanic geology because uh, these guys were test pilots and such. They didn't know anything about rocks and they wanted to make sure that they could pick out some good ones to bring back here to Earth. Since only a limited amount of moon material could be brought back to Earth, it was imperative these astronauts know enough about geology to collect the most scientifically valuable specimens. It's still one of the best places on the planet to learn about volcanic geology. All the astronauts but Joe Engel would go on to walk on the moon. And so studying this, help the astronauts prepare for this. And in a National Park Service video, Edgar Mitchell and Eugene Cernan talked about its similarities to Craters of the Moon. The two men revisited Craters in 1999 to commemorate the park's 75th anniversary. If I could take all the vegetation out of, out of the Craters of the Moon, I think there would be a very similar feeling to the vastness of it, just the simply vastest emptiness of it all. It has this peculiar, eerie beauty like these flows do here that are magnificent. I mean, they excite your imagination. And while the 1969 visit lasted only a few hours, park ranger Ted Stout says it sparked a lasting relationship with NASA that continues to this day. Since that time, we've had researchers from NASA out here on an annual basis uh, coming out to look at the geology, um, what they've decided is that we're really a little bit more related to Mars than, than the moon. And since we're very interested in going to Mars at this point, uh, we're a great analog for many of the different volcanic features that we're, they're finding on Mars. Yeah, so we could see some more of those NASA trucks outside Craters of the Moon. Cernan was the last American to walk on the moon, by the way. His last words, spoken on the moon, we leave now as we once came with peace and with hope for all mankind.